Hello, I'm Stuart Bloor. I'm road fishing in the snow. It's been a very, very cold night all across the country. In fact, so cold that I got my maggots yesterday. I left them in the boot of the car, just arrived at the river, uh, opened the, uh, the packet and they froze to death. That's how cold it's been. Water temperature is 1.6, ice in the margins, but you never catch sitting at home by a warm fire. And to be honest, I would sooner be out here than I would just sitting in front of the television. So I'm ready to cast out. Let's see how it goes. I've been here a short time and the water temperature is up to 1.7, so that's great. As I was loading the car, outside the house ready to come fishing. I'm on the River Stour by the way, the Black Country River Stour. Um, my mate who lives up the road, Jez, was coming past with his dad in the van and uh, they picked the horn, waved to them. I sent him a text, you caught me going fishing and he replied to me and he said, uh, I know, I just said to my dad, look at this nutter going fishing in this weather. True dedication, that is Stu. I hope you have a good session. Well Jez, Thanks, and I hope I do as well. I'm into a fish. Brilliant in these conditions, let's hope I can land it. Absolutely freezing now, the sun has, uh, has set. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, come on. Yes! When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Lovely route. Absolutely marvellous. Really enjoyed catching that fish. I think as anglers we enjoy catching fish anyway, that's what it's about. But when you actually catch one in, in challenging conditions and they don't get any more challenging than we face at the moment, I think that is, uh, that is very, very special. Don't know if you can hear that robin just uh, around me. There's been a, a robin here all afternoon. I've captured him on camera, of course. Um, been feeding him maggots and uh, no doubt helped to save his life in conditions like this. But back to the, uh, the point, really enjoyed uh, catching that fish in the conditions that I've been in today. I've got to go now, I really would like to uh, stay a little bit longer, but we've got an event on at church tonight. I'm a minister, so I need to be at church for the event, which I'm looking forward to anyway, but I'll be back. Watch this space. I'm back a day later. I'm fishing now, so I'm watching the rod while I'm talking. Conditions are, are worse. It's, uh, it's, it's an horrendous day. I was loading the car outside the house, and I thought to myself, this is definitely a worse day than yesterday, conditions-wise. And yet, I've just arrived at the riverbank, afternoon, uh, still on the Stella, put the uh, digital thermometer, the probe, into the water, and the readout is 2.8. So that's a massive increase from yesterday. It was 1.6 this time yesterday afternoon when I arrived, which went up to 1.9 when I finished. So to arrive with a temperature of 2.8, that's, that's absolutely uh, amazing. The water 
um, yesterday in the margins as you will have seen from one of the video shots had ice that has all gone now so the rise in water temperature has been quite has been quite drastic and I'm not wanting to tempt fate in any way shape or form but the irony is and I think the mystery of fishing is such that I caught yesterday in, in really bad uh, water temperature uh, conditions and yet today with it being excellent in terms of temperature trend I could I could well blank but as I say I don't want to tempt fate at all I had that one good fish yesterday I'm happy with that you've got to be here haven't you to to catch you can't just sit at home and think about ideal conditions you have to get out there and that's what I've done today got out here the weather outside is quite bad got the brolly up it's starting to snow um, very very cold but the water temperature's up and that's what really counts isn't it as far as fishing's concerned You can see the ice is now melting. There are pieces of it coming down the river. At last the fish. It's well into dark now. Just a small roach. But at least I haven't blanked. Well, as you can see, I'm back home now, lying down on the settee in front of the fire. I had quite a few taps at the end of session two, but just the one roach, which I didn't even photograph, but at least it avoided a blank, so that was great. Check out my website. There's lots of uh, video links on there and article links as well, going back to 2003. Enjoy.